Hey, welcome to CNET's Cracking Open. I'm Jason Heiner with Bill Detweiler, and today we're gonna crack open the Nest Hello video doorbell. So Bill, tell us what we're gonna do. Yeah, so this is really kind of a cool doorbell. Unlike some other doorbells that are battery powered, this one requires power. So there's a little more installation involved than say if you have one of these Nest uh, indoor cams. Yep. This one actually requires uh, a powered connection on the side of the door. So you either have to have a digital or a mechanical doorbell uh, already installed. And there's a few uh, tricks to the installation to ensure that it's getting the right amount of power. Not too much, not too little, just right. So we thought it would be really interesting to crack it open and kind of see what's inside. Let's do it. All right, cool. All right, so our first step in taking this thing apart is trying to find out where we get into the device. And on the Nest, there's actually a really thin um, a really thin faceplate here that's plastic that covers uh, the front. So if we very gently insert um, a guitar pick or another plastic tool, you can use a metal tool if you're careful uh, not to break any of the components, we slide it around, you know, we get a little bit of resistance. You can see how the faceplate uh, doesn't cover uh, the doorbell button at the uh, bottom here. Um, so we're gonna keep working our way around, be trying to be gentle. I can feel some resistance from the double-sided adhesive. We're gonna be really gentle here and eventually this should hopefully come loose. And there we have it. So we get our first look inside the um, Nest Hello Video doorbell. Uh, I can see one a Phillips screw there. So we're gonna try and remove this screw going to look for any other screws that are still underneath this uh, adhesive and then hopefully this will make it a little bit easier to uh, remove the outer shell in the case. Ah, there we go. See? All right, so now we have our first look inside the uh, Nest Hello video doorbell. There we go. All right. All right, so here we are uh, with our first sort of uh, look inside the Nest Hello video doorbell. Uh, we have the guts removed from the uh, plastic shell here. One thing that's really kind of interesting inside the plastic shell, uh, there's a couple things to look at. We have our uh, speaker. Uh, we have the contacts for the power leads that come from your existing wired doorbell. Uh, and then we have this really interesting sensor here that I'm not sure what it does. Um, it, uh, at first glance, I assumed it would be a microphone of some kind, but I'm not sure yeah. why you would put the hole for that on the back. Um, it also doesn't appear, uh, it doesn't look like any microphone I've seen before in these types of devices. And there's basically um, some type of membrane here, a metal bar attached to that, and then that depresses a physical button or a contact here. So I'm assuming it maybe is some type of pressure switch or something okay. to detect when the camera is actually connected to the door or what's back there. I don't know. But that's one of the things that makes taking these devices apart really cool is you get to see these components that you didn't expect inside of it. They sometimes don't tell you all the sensors that are inside these devices. They just tell people how they work. True, and for the Internet of Things um, devices, that's one of the most uh, interesting things that we find yep. is all of the different sensors. They're always adding new types of sensors so that you can measure, monitor, manage things that you never could before. And when you crack these open and look at them, we get an idea of the full capabilities uh, of the product. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. So we're gonna keep taking this thing apart. We're gonna take the uh, screws out, connect, disconnect these cables, take the circuit boards apart and see what else we can find. All right, let's cool. do it. So here we have the Nest Hello Video Doorbell completely taken apart. 
Um, Jason, some of the things that I thought were really interesting, we talked about a few of them earlier, that yeah. little sensor uh, that I still don't know really what it does. Yep. But stay. a few of the things that we found also that were interesting, the camera sensor, here's the camera sensor, and the lens are basically two separate parts. Interesting. Uh, I haven't seen that. Most of devices like cell phones or other IoT devices, you they're know, they're integrated. A, uh, yeah, they're yeah. integrated together. They have a cell phone basic camera inside of them. So this was pretty interesting. Um, also interesting, the chips, the main chips that are on here. This looks like an Amberella processor. It looks like a Kingston memory module here. Uh, it's got a Skyworks. Uh, wireless chip there. Okay. So a lot of the same kind of processors, a lot of the same kind of chips uh, that we've seen in other uh, devices. You know, it's it's really interesting to see the construction of these things. This is the device also that's designed to go outside. Yes. So we see, and so it's designed to be a little more waterproof than perhaps a cell phone or you know older cell phones or even um, you know devices, cameras meant for the inside of the house. So it does have an additional uh, uh, gasket. There's a rubber or silicon gasket here around the outside to help with that. There's this pink material that's inside yeah. that fills the gaps okay. around some of the ICs that are in it. It doesn't appear to be, it's not normal like heat sink or heat conducting foam. It seems to be something else. So I'm not sure if that's more for water protection, uh, or if it's more for to protect it, if it falls, if it's shock protection. I mean, it could be heat sink. I just usually don't see this inside devices. So it's really cool. A lot of surprises uh, inside the, the Nest Hello. It's really interesting, the um, sensor and the camera lens being separate because th what that shows is this is a, a more sophisticated deal. And the extra sensors, we talked about the fact mm -hmm. that Internet of Things is all about sensors. Uh, so yeah, we've as always, we've learned some, some interesting things yeah, by really cracking cool. this thing open. So if you have other devices you would like to see us crack open, Open, then leave us a note in the show notes. We're always looking to crack open the, the best and most interesting technology that you can find. If you'd like to see more of our Cracking Open videos, go to CNET where you can see all of our Cracking Open videos. If you want to see photos of the things that we crack open, go to our sister site, Tech Republic, where you can see galleries of all of these things in all the gory detail. So I'm Jason Heiner for Bill Detweiler. This has been CNS Cracking Open. We'll see you next time. Thank you.